part one we were talking about where the, where the natural notes are on the fingerboard G, A, B, C, D, E, F, mm -hmm. etc. We also spoke about the fact that there's two frets between each of the natural notes except for B and C and E, e and, and F. F. Exactly. I remembered. Well done, well done. Um, but there must be something in between those two notes. Well, so there's two frets. We, there's two frets, but at fret one, for example, we have F. Mm -hmm. At fret three, we have G. At fret five, we have A. So we've mm -hmm. got the two fret spacings. We already knew before today's lesson anyway that G was on fret three and A was on fret five. But there must be something on fret four. Mm. Now then, it's a sharp and a flat. The chord at fret four on the sixth string is G sharp and A flat, which may right. appear confusing. Allow me to elucidate. <laughs> elucidate, that's a good word. Sharp is higher than. Yeah. Flat is lower than. Sharp is higher than, flat is lower. So when we tune up, for example, mm -hmm. if we need the pitch to be higher, we sharpen the guitar string. And if, it's, if we need to lower the pitch, we flatten the guitar string. Okay. Okay? So if G is at fret three, mm -hmm. if we sharpen it by moving up one fret to fret four, we have the note of G sharp. Higher than G. Higher than G. Consequently, a chord of G sharp five. A power chord of G sharp. Exactly the same fingering, nothing different in the left hand, but it's at fret four, G sharp. The name of that sound, though, is also A flat. A is at fret five. If we move down the neck, which is One flattening, fret, yeah. we have A flat. So G sharp and A flat are the same note. Because you're flattening one, which invariably means it's the sharp version of the other. Yes. Now, what I'd like to just point out here is, it's not to do with, oh, if I just played A and I move down to fret four, it must be called A flat. Music is ordered into keys. That's something that we'll discuss later on in the course. Okay. And that sound is called G sharp or A flat, merely depending on the key we're playing in at that moment in time. It's musical grammar in effect. Right. In a certain key, that sound is called G sharp, and in another key, that sound is called A flat. You wouldn't necessarily be going to G sharp from a G, mm -hmm. or A flat from an A for that matter, but that's how it would work. So you could have an A chord and then a G sharp chord. It could be you know, named that way around. But that's theory for, an, for another day. <laughs> <laughs> Suffice it to say that the, the notes in the middle, the sharps and the flats, share two names. Yeah. So moving down the fingerboard, still on the sixth string, mm -hmm. we've got F at fret one, we've got G at fret three. The note in the middle fret is two. F sharp, fret two, or G flat. So again, if you're playing a song, written on the page is F sharp, we go, if written on the page is G flat, exactly the same. Two different instructions same outcome. Okay, so anywhere you've got two spaces or two frets I ought to say between the notes, that would be F to G, G to A, A to B, D to E, mm -hmm. not B to C because there's only one fret between those two and not E to F because there's only one note between, one fret between those two notes as well, we'll have a sharp and a flat. The higher one being the sharp, the lower one being the flat. Mm -hmm. Okay. And obviously in the notes there's going to be examples of what the sharp and the flat symbols look like. Exactly, the sharp symbols are kind of hash and it's like a, a, a lowercase b for the flat symbol. And those will be in the, in, in, the, in the coursework, there'll also be diagrams of the fingerboard of the guitar neck showing you where all the notes are so again you can memorise them. I should stress it's still worth memorising all the natural notes first and you will find as if by magic, if you know all the natural notes you just happen to know all the sharps and flats. Yeah. Because if you know F's at fret 1, you just know miraculously that F sharp's on fret two mm -hmm. and that G's on fret three. So they will kind of fall into place. So I always ask people to make sure they memorize the natural notes first, the sharps and flats then fall into place. Okay. Good advice, David Young. Lovely. Good advice. That's fine. What's next? Same thing applies on the fifth string. Ah, okay. Exactly the same principle. We've got C at fret three. We've got D at fret five. Fret four though. C sharp. C sharp. Or? D flat. Again, just depends on the key we're in, what we call that. But that's C, so one up is C sharp, one down from D, D flat. Fret five has D, fret seven has E. So fret six is E flat. There's E. Mm -hmm. We can hear that the E flat is lower than the E. Yeah. E. Down to an E flat. D. But not as low as the D. Not as low as the D. And then D up to a D sharp. 
notes of D sharp and E flat sit in the middle of D and E. So again, the thing to remember, two frets between all the natural notes, except for B and C and, and E and, e and e F. F. Yes. And in between those two fret spacings, there's a sharp and a flat. So what about, and this may be throwing a curveball at uh, you, okay. between the B and the C and the E and the F, where are our sharps and flats? Aren't there any. Oh. They're not there. It is actually possible to have notes such as um, C flat. Again, it's a theoretical point, and if you're in a certain key, a certain sound which you would recognise on your guitar as B can be called C flat. But to all intents and purposes, there's nothing between B and C. B, next note up is C. That's all you've got to worry about. Just don't worry about it. B is on fret 7, mm -hmm. C is on fret 8. On the fifth string, E is on fret 7, and F is on fret 8. And then we move up to F sharp, and the sharps and flats come back in again. Okay. But again, the single, singularly most important thing, I, I think, to mention is learn all the natural notes, then the sharps and the flats, which are also known as accidentals, by the way, mm -hmm. not naturals, but accidentals, would miraculously fall into place. So what I'd quite like to do is run through some exercises here. Indeed. Where we start bringing into play some sharp or flat chords in with the natural chords. So in exercise four here, we've got a bar of A5 followed by F sharp five, mm -hmm. then D5, and then E5. And there's that symbol that we were talking about. There's a symbol for the sharp. That's sort that of sort of hash, hash symbol, yeah. kind of extended square yes, almost. for an F sharp 5. So All I'll right. play through that one. What I'll do is I'll play F sharp down at the second fret, mm -hmm. which is where you'd expect to find it, just above the F. Yeah. And then D is up at fret 5 and E is up at fret 7. Okay, let's begin. Do you okay. want to play it on your own first and then maybe we can bring I'll play it on my own, you can see what's happening. Okay, I'm going to play it palm muted again on eighth notes. Yeah. One, two, Talk me through three, where the frets are. Four. A at the 5th fret, yeah. F sharp at the 2nd, D at the 5th on the 5th string, yeah. and E on the 7th fret, 5th string, back to the A, 5th fret, F sharp, 2nd fret, yeah. D, 5th fret, E's on the 7th fret. Let's jazz it up a bit. That's the A5, there's F that sharp. sharp. Fret two. Mm -hmm. D5. Fret five. E5. Fret seven. Back again. A5. F sharp at two. D at five. And e at seven. Up to the seven. Down to five. F sharp. D at the fifth fret. Five. And you get seven. A five. F sharp at two. D five at five. E five at seven. Okay. I like Something it. I'd just like to point out at this juncture is that although I'd like everybody to memorise the natural notes all the way up the fingerboard on both guitar strings, the sixth string and the fifth string. Mm -hmm. And I did say that that's 24 chords, which is really 12 chords in two places. Oh, right. You can actually access at least one of each chord from fret seven down. All the chords exist on one or other string mm -hmm. from fret seven down. I'll just demonstrate that. That sounds like a nugget of information. Yes, I think that's important to know. Okay, explain okay. it once more for me. Okay, um, the chord on the fifth string at fret 7 is E. Yes. The lowest note on the guitar is the open E string, the 6th string. So when we play that open, it's an E. Mm -hmm. One octave higher is the chord of E at the 7th fret. Yeah. So all the chords that I might need exist below the 7th fret. I shall demonstrate. Yeah. F's at fret 1, G at fret 3, A at fret 5. I can play B at, say, fret 2 on the 5th string. C, fret 3. D at fret 5, and E at fret 7. So lower than 7 frets I had E, D, C, B, A, G, F. And you also and had the, that B, didn't you? The low E at the bottom, yeah. So you've got the B up here as well, and you've got the B there. So you've got a couple of positions for the B, and a couple of the other accidental sharps and flats. But any chord you will see as a power chord, as a 5 chord, as an A5, G5, etc., mm -hmm. one version at least exists lower than the seventh fret. Mm. So it might be handy to learn the notes on both strings lower than fret seven and then learn the higher ones. That might be one way of doing it.